Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Bill Spann. I want to talk about my buddy Ken Huff. Ken Huff was the greatest offensive guard in the history of North Carolina. Now, let me tell you why that's true. First of all, all you got to do is look at this picture. This picture <clears throat> is devastating. You've got Boom Boom Betterson, you've got Dickie Teapot Oliver, and leading the charge, you've got number 68, Ken Huff. Ken Huff from Col Coronado, California. Ken came out to, to, to be recruited by Dooley from Coronado. He didn't know it was going to be so humid when he got here, you know, being a Coronado guy, but that's just one more reason uh, Ken Huff is my favorite offensive lineman for Carolina. I sat behind Ken uh, for a couple of years. I got there in 73. He was there. Uh, 74, we had that great year when uh, when Kupek and, and, and Boom Boom and uh, Mike and, and Voight and all those guys um, just had that supreme offense. We went to a bowl game. <clears throat> Ken Huff, I think, was an All-American that year. <clears throat> One thing I'll tell you is that um, – Great linemen are born, and they got to have it all. And Ken was the package. He had a extreme short torso, huge shoulders. I used to sit behind him at every meeting, and I would just like, after years of sitting behind Ken Huff, I can tell you, the guy was built perfect to be a bulldozer, a, a, you know, a road grader. You see this picture? He's going to literally kick some tail of those NC State guys in this picture. Ken was so tough. One time some guys came around, uh, some hoodlums, and uh, one of them took out a crowbar. Ken went to block the crowbar with his forearm. The damn guy crushed his uh, forearm with a, a crowbar. Ken, it didn't stop him. He missed the spring, came back that season. He was an All-American again. And one of the reasons Ken was so good is he had the ultimate coach, Pat Watson, our offensive line coach, Pat Pat was a <clears throat> he was a madman. He had a favorite little saying there. When we did the shoots, as we would do them endlessly for hours, you know, firing out under a you know four foot high, four and a half foot high shoot, five guys on boards hitting dummies and leaving all at once on the uh, exact moment, the millisecond the ball moves, we all move. So uh, getting our our you know timing right. So when that ball moved, you know, from the center. Everybody went at one time, and all that uh, Watson would, would tell you over and over again is like, you know, men, when you leave that your stance and I'm standing behind you looking at you five guys firing out at one time, all I want to do is see five little assholes. That, I want to see five little zeros where those assholes used to be. And um, the shoots and uh, Dooley and uh, Pat Watson were the coaches that made Ken Huff great and uh, – I'm sure he'd attribute a lot to that. Uh, one of uh, Watson's other uh, favorite sayings was, I'm just going to find me five, and I'm going to run the rest of you guys off. I'll find me five. And really, you know, that's all he ever played was five guys. I mean, you could be a second teamer and sit at the, on the bench for game after game after game, maybe not even letter because he had five guys. And if they didn't get hurt, they were going to be his five. And, <laughs> you know, when you come in with 45, 46 guys, and, uh, you know, you're six deep at each position. Well, you know, I'm going to find me five, and I'm going to run the rest of you all off. Watson used to say, hell, man, you think this is tough? You think these practices are tough? Hell, in war, they kill each other, man. They die in war. You guys, nobody's died here yet. Well, <clears throat> not, you know, the year he was coaching. But, uh, you know, his other favorite saying was, uh, come on, man, monkey on coconut. Monkey on a coconut, roll them hips, and um, oh, uh, you know, as I can just hear him say to me, uh, you know, hit somebody, don't just stand there. Anyway, um, hey, if anybody's got a, a a better lineman at guard than Ken Huff, I'd like to hear about it. But I'm nominating Ken Huff, best offensive lineman, best offensive guard in the history of, of Carolina. And there's some other guys I played with, like Robert Pratt, um, Scott Davison. Uh, even Craig Funk, incredible lineman, maybe about 212 pounds, if you can believe that. But um, these are just my buddies, and um, it's just uh, a kick, you know, talking about them. And hey, boom, boom, I love that, you know, uh, I love that touchdown, man. Uh, you scored behind me on my first college play at William & Mary. Boom, you took it in. Hey, buddy, Teapot, any of you other guys out there, give me a shout out.